What's up you guys, Fezor here, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video I am going to teach you guys how to create cool 3D text using Cinema 4D and adding some effects on Photoshop. So here is the final example of what we are going to do today. Uh, as you can see nice 3D text going on and some effects, reflection and uh, multiple colors on it. Uh, so. Uh, we need Photoshop and Cinema 4D to do this uh, nice 3D text. You can use this text on your logo, banners or whatever you want. Okay, first uh, you need uh, to download uh, some files from the description below, which is uh, the texts, Lightroom and uh, some, uh, some materials here. So, uh, let's get started. Just download the Lightroom from the description below. All the things you need will be in the description. Just download these files and open the Lightroom. Before opening the Lightroom, just uh, make sure you install this font, which is the luckiest guy. And open Lightroom. And you will get these files, texts and lights. I'm going to delete this text. To show you guys how to create it, just select this two and click delete. First, go to more graph, more text, and go to align and change it from left to middle. Write your text. I'm going to write banner. Change the depth 100 centimeters and select your font. So we'll find the luckiest guy. find it first okay luckiest guy and go to caps make the start fillet cap make the end fillet cap and change the steps to radius 1 steps 2 radius 1 and do the same on the start and end so go to uh, the object and make sure the height is 200 centimeters and go to more graph and uh, this more text press ctrl c and ctrl v on your keyboard and just name this banner and this one designs select designs and select your move tool and drag it bottom of this first text and select design text and go to object and change it designs and you can write whatever you want you can uh, type multiple uh, text I'm sorry okay and go to height and change it 100 uh, let me see 70 centimeters looks good and put it here now as you can see my camera is on and just one left click on it and select banner and designs and press alt g on your keyboard and as you can see it's grouped and double click on it null object and change it one and select this press ctrl c ctrl v for duplicate it and name it two and open that two and select this designs and banner text go to the depths and change it uh, to 90 centimeters and go to caps and change the radius from 1 centimeter to 6 centimeters and do the same thing on this end and select this two group make sure you select it group and select your move tool and move it a little bit back just like that looks great and turn the camera on and select um, all these things expect camera and go to this P and change it minus 10 degree and click apply so we are ready to render it as you can see it looks great we are uh, going to add uh, the colors on it I have the 
materials here. You can also create it, it's very simple. So for that just double click on this area. I'm going to create this uh, yellow. Double click on that, go to color and select yellow color. From here, yellow color. Click OK, go to space alert and change the brightness 50% like that and close this and create a new material open that go to color and select purple color click ok go to reflection go to texture drop down menu and select fresnel here change the brightness uh, let me see 14 and mix rate 14 and blurriness uh, you can add blurriness if you want but i'm going to leave it and close this as you can see we will get nice materials same with this so uh, just drag the yellow materials on the second one uh, not the second one on the first one first group and drag this purple material on the second group like that and click this render button and as you can see we get nice 3d text and some reflection going on as you can see and on the s letter and some lighting going on from the top and from the bottom it looks great so we are uh, going to render it with two pieces I'm going to show you how to do this as you can see the reflection so I'm going to select all these texts groups and lights expect the camera select your rotation tool I'm going to rotate a little bit to a degree as you can see here you can also change it from here and you can also change it with rotation tool like that okay here we go and when you're done just go to render settings go to save and make sure you save it to your desktop uh, name it render one click save make sure the alpha channel is selected and format is PNG and click this uh, button right there and just wait few minutes depends on your computer Okay guys first render is done and if you zoom in a little bit you will see uh, some issues on the letters as you can see on the S1 and also on this S1 so for fixing it and adding the effects on Photoshop with a simple way uh, to render this um, yellow text with the second piece which will be the render 2 PNG so close this window and go to the first one uh, not the first one go to the second group and click these buttons two times one and second and also do the same thing on the second point okay and go to on the first group open that and select these two texts and change the start only cap and change the end only cap go to object change the depth zero and go to render settings and name this render two and render it As you can see it's fixed and we can add effects on Photoshop easily just close this open Photoshop I'm going to hide this text and layers just like that 
and go to file, open, open your to render texts, just like that, and drag this yellow one on the second one, just like that, and zoom in a little bit, and put this yellow on the banner carefully using your arrow key just like that make sure it's on the top of this layer one as you can see uh, the black uh, line going on the first uh, second layer for fix that just hold control on your keyboard and move your cursor on the layer 2 thumbnail as you can see this icon appears one left click on it and go to select modify and click contract and contract by one click ok and select this tool right here and right click and layer we are cut to select this and you don't need this layer 2 anymore just click the left key on your keyboard and as you can see the black lines disappears and looks great so we are ready to uh, give some effects on the text just select these two text and make sure you name it one and two and select one right click on it and click convert to smart object and do the same thing on this one why we are uh, doing this? Because if you want to resize it, uh, it will not lose the quality. And select these two layers and drag it into your template just like that. And put it here, center. And open the second layer style. Double click on it. And I'm going to add inner glow click this inner glow, go to blending mode and select color touch, opacity make it 40%, size just play around the size depends on your text, I'm going to select 5 pixel and go to let me see bevel and moss and change the depths about let me see 350 size 170 uh, you can also play around the size to get nice reflection as you can see I'm going to put it 170 170 just like that 172 and highlight mode make sure uh, you selected the white color and shadow mode you selected the black color and all this blending option is overlay make sure you select it overlay and just play around the opacity if you want to get a uh, brighten uh, text just make it uh, make the opposite higher but not uh, hundred percent just put the opposite like 50 55 looks good and this black one for the bottom of the text I'm going to put it let me see 5 or maybe 1 as you can see it looks great maybe we can increase the inner glow a little bit like 55 looks good and click OK and go to the first one and select bevel and moss and do the same thing on this layer too maybe I'm going to decrease the opposite a little bit it gives nice uh, lighting on the top of this text just like that I'm going to put it 50% and don't add inner glow I'm going to add drop shadow make the distance like 15 pixel size maybe 
20 pixel and opacity make it 50 as you can see the shadow going on it looks more realistic click ok now we are going to add the reflection on the banner so for that go and select the second layer make a new layer top of this and name it reflection and uh, press alt key on your keyboard move the cursor uh, between this uh, second layer and your reflection and you will get these icons this icon appears just one left click on it and uh, the other way to do that just go to reflection right click on it and click uh, create clipping mask and it's the alternative uh, variant to do the clipping mask and select your pen tool and drag the put the point here and put the second point here and drag it just like that hold control on your keyboard as you can see your pen tool uh, transform it to a selection tool and just select this point and drag it just like that and you can also uh, drag this second point a little bit up and finish it and right click on it click fill pass make sure you selected the reflection layer right click fill pass and go to content and select the white color click ok right click on it again and click delete pass go to blending option and select overlay change the opacity down about um, let me see 25 or 35 it depends on uh, you so I'm going to put it 25 percent and open the reflection layer style go to drop shadow change the opacity about uh, 40 distance 25 don't touch the speed and change the size 25 pixel click ok as you can see it's add nice uh, style on it if you want you can rotate it uh, rotate the reflection by pressing ctrl T on your keyboard and rotate it just like that and put it maybe here and when you're done click this arrow button here and looks great and maybe a little bit up and a little bit this position just play around if you want to get better view it depends on you okay the same uh, layer stars with this one as you can see it looks great you can also create your own text you can use it on your banners logos or whatever you want okay guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you can write comments below if you get any problem i'm going to help you guys smash the like button below and subscribe if you don't already and see you guys in the next video